Hey everybody, Sean Doherty here. I'm gonna show you today how to use Vacation Tracker in Microsoft Teams. So, I'm gonna go ahead and open up Microsoft Teams, and uh, this is just my personal Teams view here. Um, over on the left side, <clears throat> um, if you've never used Vacation Tracker, you're gonna click these three dots and type in Vacation Tracker. Uh, it'll either be an icon kind of like that, or it could even be a smaller icon down here that says Add. Um, you're going to go ahead and add it to your Microsoft Teams. Once you open it up and it's all fully installed into your Microsoft Teams, you'll first have um, this view. Um, what I'm going to show you is Vacation Tracker. Um, it, it has two different, two different views. Uh, the first view that you're going to see right now is all about yourself. So what is your PTO? How do you re request your own PTO? How do you see where you stand as far as your balance and things like that um, and whatnot? And then um, in just a moment, I'll show you collaboratively how you can see everyone else's PTO and um, who's out and, and what upcoming holidays are there and whatnot. So, um, so first of all, the app that will be here, you can right click on that and pin it. Um, that will keep it there all the time. That way you don't have to hunt it down um, and, and whatnot. So this app right here has four tabs at the top up here. The first tab, chat. Uh, think of it like a notification center for vacation tracker. Meaning when you request leave, when it's approved, it'll pop up here. If you are uh, the supervisor of an employee and they ask for time off, it'll pop up here with a accept or decline button. Once you hit that, it'll pop up on their chat window that it was approved or denied. So here you can see when I set up the application, I created for myself some leave and auto approved it since this was backdated leave from before. Um, and it all popped up here in this chat window. So again, it's like a notification center. Uh, the next button here is request leave. Request leave uh, simply is just the opportunity for you to put in that you want to take some time off. So once you click on the type of request, we've got in here all these different um, options you can pick. Um, and each one of them has the allocated number of days. For instance, um, yeah, like, pater like paternity leave and maternity leave have automatically been calculated for each employee. Um, so, you know, funny for me, if I tried to do maternity leave, no, it's not going to work. I am a male, not going to happen. But if I do paternity leave, yeah, I have 10 days that I can take for that. Um, so, and then um, you, whenever you put these this information in, start date, end date, um, and the reason for being out. Uh, if you are like a part-time employee, um, I would put the entire time you're going to be out. I would just put the days specifically that you won't be here. But full-time employees, um, it's it's going to auto-calculate that Fridays and Saturdays are not work days. So you can put your entire, let's say you're out for a week or so. Now you could put that entire time in and it will auto-calculate Fridays and Saturdays um, are not part of the quota for your PTO. Um, Another interesting one is like missions, conferences, summits, things like that. Uh, we don't put a limit on those things. Those are just uh, items we ask that you let us know about. Uh, for me, I went to a conference in Texas in January and a prayer summit. So I put all those days in so people know I'm out of the office. But I have unlimited time that I can use for that. Um, so, And that's the same with things like critical illness, jury duty, um, and whatnot. So... That's how you request leave. Pretty pretty simple stuff. My profile is going to be where you'll find um, just just information about about yourself, about your different PTOs that you can take. Um, this is just at a glance. Everything about you um, will be here. So that's that. And then about about is just you know how to a little bit how to use Vacation Tracker if you want to learn more about it. Um, but that all is going to be your personal vacation tracking software, all about me. So let's look at the second area that I have it set up that will be more collaborative. 
that's going to be in Teams under the Teams uh, application sidebar here. And I have it set up in our general chat, um, the general chat. This is the one that typically uh, Kelly makes announcements on every week. Um, yeah. So up at the top of the general chat, we've got a couple tabs. We've got frequently given files. We have the event calendar, which shows you know all the events happening on our calendar. Then we have PTO vacation tracker. And this one here, you'll see, will collaboratively show you what's going on. So for me, I have no pending requests. Nobody's out today. But as far as scheduled leaves, these are all the people who will be away. And it'll show you um, on the top what they're away for and a reason. So we've got uh, Paul Portman who will be away <clears throat> from April 10th to 17th. That's six days out of the office. That was approved by Frank Twombly and the reason is he's on vacation. Um, um, Tony Ambrose has got some PTO he's using. Um, Pam Walsh is at a missions conference when she's going to be um, at Fully Alive, uh, volunteering her time there. And yeah, as you just go down, you'll see all the different PTOs and then upcoming holidays as well. Now, if you want, um, this is going to show up as a list. I know that some of us prefer a calendar view, um, or maybe we want to incorporate this into our personal um, Outlook, Calendar, or something else, um, that's possible as well. To do that, you will click on this, Open Dashboard. It opens up Vacation Tracker actually in the web. And the web version, very similar to the version in Microsoft Teams, but they do have this calendar button. And when you click on that, you'll see it in a you know the very thorough calendar form. And of course, you can sync this calendar by clicking here, you'll get a link, and that link you can then subscribe to, uh, whether it be on your phone or a computer, um, to have it populate in your, in your calendar application so you can see who's out um, on what days. So yeah, that's a little bit of a look at Vacation Tracker. I hope it's helpful, and I'm excited to see us use it more here at South Bay, and if you have any questions, feel free to let me know.